Welcome to Jackets TV presented by Ohio Health. I'm Bob McElligot and today I'm pleased to be joined by Blue Jackets head coach Todd Richards who also is going to be the head coach for Team USA for this year's World Championships. Todd, you've been with Team USA before as an assistant coach most recently in the last Olympics. What does it mean to you to be the head man behind the bench for this upcoming tournament? Uh, it means a lot to me. Uh, growing up in Minnesota, a big event in my life was the, the 1980 uh, Olympic Games and, and them defeating the Russians and obviously going on to beat the Finns and then win the gold medal. Uh, so USA and USA Hockey have been a big part of my life. Um, and it's a true honor, a true honor to be asked and a privilege to, to go over and coach and represent the United States. I know you would much rather be in the Stanley Cup playoffs right now, but not being there this, how does this rank as far as, you know, having, having a chance to do this? If you were in the playoffs, you couldn't do it. You're not in the playoffs, you get this chance. How does that rank? Well, it's, 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 it's bittersweet is, is what it is. Obviously, I'm, as I said, I'm honored. It means a lot to me uh, for them to consider me and ask me to be the head coach and go over and represent uh, the red, white, and blue of USA on the front. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. I think it's going to be a, a great tournament. There's going to be lots of challenges ahead, but I'm looking forward to those challenges and working with a lot of good people. Uh, the, the, the better part is obviously I'm doing this because you know the other red, white, and blue uh, here in Columbus uh, are just disappointed because we didn't achieve or reach our goals, which was to, to make the playoffs and give ourselves a, a chance to win the Stanley Cup. Was this a surprise to you or did you see this coming? Had you had any discussions? I had no discussions and it's... A little bit of a surprise. Um, you know that the World Championships are coming up, and there's, there are opportunities. And I, you knew where you were sitting at in your season, so there was a possibility of the opportunity. Uh, I was surprised when they they asked me, and obviously very pleased uh, when they asked me to to be the head coach. Now it's a little bit of a flip flop for you this time because when you went to the Olympics. Dan Bilesma was the head coach of that team. You were one of his assistants. This time you're going to take him along as an assistant coach. I don't know if it's taken him along. Uh, he and I have a past relationship and we've worked together. We worked together in Wilkesbury for two years. And uh, I, I don't look at that as a head coach, assistant coach. Uh, our relationship in Wilkesbury was the same thing. There were titles, obviously, head coach and assistant coach, but that's really all it was. Uh, I leaned on him a lot. Um, I really respect him as a coach, respect him as a person, and the things that he can he can offer, not just me, but offer the, the team. And we're going over there, it's gonna be, as I said, there's gonna be some challenges, and when you have somebody like that that you trust, you've worked with in the past, it, it should make those challenges uh, easier. One thing that's different about the World Championships from the Olympics is it seems like guys are tripping all over themselves to try to be on the U.S. Olympic team and play in that tournament. This tournament, it's a little bit different. You have guys that are playing in the Stanley Cup playoffs and just aren't available. You have other guys that don't play, whether it's for personal reasons or because they were injured uh, during the season. They want to take the time off or what have you. So this is piecing together a different kind of a team, isn't it? it a little bit different. Uh, you also are bringing along some, some young players, some young, talented players. And I'm excited to see those players uh, perform over there. You know, everyone talks about uh, Jack Eichel. I'm, I'm excited to see what he can do. But there's lots of other talented players. Uh, Mike Riley, who's obviously close with, uh, with us here in, in Columbus. And I'm just talking about him. Uh, uh, he was drafted by us. So it's a chance to get over there and work with him and watch him play. But there's lots of other players too. We were able to watch in, in the World Juniors and you're able to watch or listen to your amateur scouts guys that have, have played. And then there's other players that have been around the league. And they aren't maybe the, 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 the well-known names. But these guys had, had some good years this year. And I'm looking forward to going over there and, and piecing together the team. I think we're going to be a good team. I think we're going to be a competitive team. I think we got a lot of guys with a, a lot of heart and guys that want to be there and guys that want to work. Well, there should be nobody more apt to piece together a team than you after the season that you just went through with all the man games lost here. What did that Olympic experience do for you? As you go into this role, even though it's as a head coach and not an assistant coach, just dealing with the international play and dealing with Team USA, how much has that helped you get ready for this? I don't know if it was the, the Sochi Games as much as, as going back in 2010, uh, working in the World Championships over in Germany. And what I, it, it's not as big a stage, at least how I think we perceive the, the World Championships and the Olympic Games. Um, but it's a big tournament. And the thing that I took from that tournament coming, coming out of it was 
the, the European teams, this is their Stanley Cup. And uh, you're going to get everyone's best game. One, because it is a big tournament to them. And the second is because we're the red, white, and blue. And we got USA across our chest. And everyone wants to beat uh, USA. So we're going to get everyone's best team. And that's the big thing that I learned coming out of that. It, it doesn't matter if it's the, the, the French, uh, uh, the Denmark, uh, Germany, uh, Belarus. It doesn't matter where they're from. We're going to get everybody's best game, and that makes it a, a great challenge.